Well, he's saying so much. He's saying there were so many factors that played a role when they were putting out this fire last night. And you can see kind of this is all that remains of this hotel. I mean, really just pieces of melted plastic and burnt wood. It's, it's quite awful. And then you can see all the icebergs literally are surrounding it just from all that water last night. It's kind of frozen in time. But the good thing is no one was injured. As fire trucks race towards the Motel 6. The police department was already here evacuating residents out of the out of the hotel. And when Lower Allen Township Fire Chief Tom Schumberger arrived a little under two minutes later. The trailer out back was fully involved and it was starting to roll up over the roof. The owners had lived in the trailer, which was directly behind the motel. In fact, there was a walkway between the two. So when the trailer caught on fire, it took only minutes for it to spread to the exterior of the motel. It went up the back wall and then into the eaves of the attic. Then the wind, says Chief Schumberger, pushed it along through the attic. However, firefighters were able to trench the attic, stopping it in its tracks. He cut a hole in the roof to hopefully give the fire some place to go so it didn't go further down the attic. It sounds, however, a lot easier than what it was because Mother Nature was quite a force last night. So what would usually have taken about an hour and a half actually took three. We ended up using three hydrants. I had four trucks on the scene, um, all spraying water in through the roof. So to get the fire knocked down with the wind and the cold weather, it was it was a mess. It was a mess. And now this is kind of what's remaining. No hotel rooms left right now. But what is also sad is that that trailer that they lived in, I'm told they lived there for a number of years. So that was their home and it is completely destroyed. As for the people that were staying at the hotel, um, there were about 30 that had to be displaced. But the good news is there's a motel. I'm looking at it right here. And that's where most of them went. Three others were assisted by the Red Cross. As to, um, to the cause of that fire, that's still being investigated. For now in Mechanicsburg, Amber Gerard. WGAL News 8.